right. How you been? Doing good. About to do this video. Hope that's not too blue. Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude out here at uh, Austin. We're at the Emotiva and uh, Shit Audio Hi-Fi ex Experience, as it would be. So we're actually sitting in the room. I'm going to do a quick demo. And uh, I actually have someone from Emotiva that's going to walk you guys through the booth, let you guys know the ins and outs of it. I think that the price on this thing, 100% like shipped astern without the trusses and the lightings, right? It's going to be uh, around, around the realm of 7000 bucks. So if you guys like that, I'll leave links down in the description. Check in just a minute. Hey folks, welcome to the surround sound room here at the, at the Emotiva side of the show. Uh, in here, what we're featuring is a whole collection of more approachable gear for our customers. You see, what we kind of noticed in the past at shows is we brought kind of our bigger, higher horsepower, really impactful surround sound systems along. And while they sounded phenomenal and they were great, great, you know, great systems for folks, what we wanted to do is show that you can still get similar performance though. Uh, but with our more uh, with our more entry level, easier to afford gear, uh, what we have here is we have some pieces like our A1 here. We have our T1s for the, the for the left and right speakers. We have our C1 for our center channel here. Our SE12s again, gear that has been in our in our lineup for for a little bit now, uh, but something that we haven't actively featured before uh, as far as an actual uh, a full surround setup here. Uh, we're doing tw uh, four of our SE12s here. And, you know, folks were even you know in here and they were like, oh whoa, uh, can, can those even you know, you know, power the room here. Uh, they can actually overpower the room, so we had to kind of back some of the back some of the volume and the gain down on it. Uh, over in our gear stack here, as far as what we're doing for uh, processing and for amplification, uh, we've got our MC1 surround processor here, our, our Basics MC1 surround processor. Uh, then we have our Basics amplifiers. Again, no XPA power here. I, and again, show has passed. We've had all XPA power. We'd love to feature that. But we wanted to make the stage clear for our Basics gear, you know, really give it a chance to shine here. We're using our A3 for the front. We're using our A-Force for surround, and then we're using our A-6 for a lot of the other uh, uh, surround Atmos channels. Uh, the, whole, the whole thing put together, nice and compact. We have it spaced out just so folks can see it a little easier. But the whole thing stacked together is about two XPA uh, amplifiers stacked on top of one another. So it's a real compact system, but you're getting really, really great performance. Uh, the other thing that we have, uh, some new pieces that we're showcasing here, is our A2 Plus uh, uh, height and Atmos piece right in the front here. Uh, for our, our top heights, and then we're also doing some B2 Plus uh, bookshelf speakers for surrounds. Now, of course, our customers uh, are like more than likely going to use these for you know kind of like a smaller two-channel system, or even some folks who want to do like a bigger desktop system. But uh, we're actually noticing that they make a phenomenal surround speaker as well. So if you want a larger, more impactful surround experience, but you don't necessarily want a floor stander, you can definitely use a, uh, a, a B2 Plus mounted. Uh, on the wall. The whole system put together, uh, the processing, the amplification, the speakers, and the subwoofers, the whole price comes in at about $7,000, which is real approachable for folks and something you don't need to necessarily you know, dig into the college fund for. So we're real happy uh, to be showcasing it here today, and uh, we hope everyone enjoys.
Well, all right, guys, that's going to be the uh, Emotiva experience out here in Austin. Really, really thanks for these guys for showing me around. I thought it was really, really cool. I got to hop back on in, <laughs> into my hot car and get back home. But uh, it's always nice to be in Austin. This is really, really cool. And I hope that I'll be able to do some more reviews for you guys for Emotiva coming up very, very shortly. But that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.